In this daily drop, I'm going to do a follow up to my recent episode on this handheld steamer from Conair. Talk about this more portable version. So let's go. All right, everybody, here we are. Brand new week here on the C47's channel, episode 151 of the Daily Drop. And if you didn't see the episode I did about two weeks ago on this, this is a handheld steamer that I have had for a long time. And it's great. It does the job. You shouldn't have to pay more than about $40 to $60, $70 for a steamer. But this one is a little large, and I was going on a production down to Las Vegas. The hair and makeup artist that I was hiring was totally happy to steam clothes if necessary, but did not have a steamer. So what I did is I picked up this one right here. It comes in a few different colors. There's no just plain white, at least that I found. So I got this one, the green one. And there's some pretty garish colors as well. Uh, about $45 to $50 US. And as you can see here, when you're comparing the two, it is considerably smaller. It's still got a lot of heft to it. But because it has this articulating head here, it packs a lot easier into your luggage. And it is smaller, it is lighter. A couple of things to tell you about it. It is worldwide, so even though the plug on the one that I ordered is for the US, if you get an adapter, you don't need to convert the voltage. It'll do that automatically. Um, before I forget, at least the one that I ordered comes with this tiny, cute little foldable hanger which I guess could come in handy and, you know, it kind of ties in with the whole portable thing. Again, if you didn't see the episode I did before, these things heat up quite quickly. This one has two settings in terms of output, but I've done some tests with this one and it has plenty of steam coming out of it. Now, the water chamber right here, a couple of things to note. Number one, obviously empty it when you're traveling. Number two, it is best to fill this with distilled water because then you won't get any of those minerals and deposits and stuff clogging the thing up. Second best option, um, bottled water which is what I have in here right now because I don't have any distilled water. And then simply what you do is you just turn this thing on and the light will come on. And it takes about 35 seconds for this to come to heat if you haven't turned it on recently. And then it will light up and tell you it's all ready to go. And generally you're not going to use it in this upright position so you would articulate it down it's a little warm to the touch here obviously you never want to put your hand over the front of it because that steam could burn you but you can see here that it is very very compact it packed very easily for the trip there it is it has now lit up if i press this button once it's going to start to emit the steam it makes that little clicking noise, so you should be aware of that. This one has a different noise. And what's nice is when you press the button, it just is continuous. And then you press it again, and it will stop the steam. It is a powerhouse. These things draw a lot of power. You're talking somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,000 to 1,200 watts. So you need to keep that in mind. But I will say that while not tiny, and there are really small steamers, but they don't really do that much, I think this is a good option for $45 to $50 US. It does the job. It does it well. If you're steaming clothes, backdrops, anything that needs to basically get steamed, I think this is a good option. You can go on the Amazons and see some other third-party not third party, but other companies options. I've had good, very good um, luck with the Conair brand. So I'm going to stick with that. That's it. Portable steamer. Not much to it, but something that you might want inside of your kit. Don't forget to and to. And I'll see you on the next episode of The Daily Drop.